love all people that are upon the face of the earth. So regardless of how society has beaten the black man down, God says he chose you to be above all people. The black man, the Hispanic man, the Native American man, created by God, by the hand of God himself, were created to be a special people unto God, rulers of the earth. So how did we fall? Because you don't understand the Bible, we don't know that the Lord is causing this war on the earth because it's prophesied in the Bible that he will put these, these nations against each other and fight in the last days for the salvation of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who are the children of Israel. The war, those missiles flying over there right now, the Lord has that happening because of you. Because of us being in captivity here in this land. What you should do is research. You should take the flyer and you should research who you are and what this Bible is talking about. We got classes online seven days a week and learn how to keep God's commandments. All right? Hey, brother right here, what's your name? Shakur. Shakur. Yes, sir. Do you know that you're an Israelite? Chosen people of God. Chosen people of God. What about this family right here? Do you know that you are Israelites? You don't know? It would behoove you to learn. Why? Because the war that's taking place on earth right now is for you. Right. Those missiles that are being shot in Israel right now is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. It is high time we wake up and repent and keep God's commandments. Give me that in Romans. It is high time we realize that we have been destroyed as a people in this country. Right. That we must come back to God's commandments if we want to inherit the kingdom of God. Yes. Read what you got. Romans 13 and 11, I think. Yes, Book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Bring it out. And that knowing the time. The Bible says is that knowing the time, brother Shakura, right? And that knowing the time, come on. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time we wake up. We see all of these things taking place on earth, and we do not question why these things are taking place. Right. For example, Shakura, I'm going to ask you, what's your nationality? The original Jews, right? Okay, with the original Jews, which means, okay, if you know you're a Jew, do you believe that? I believe that. You believe that you're a Jew? I believe that. Which tribe do you descend from? Look on the back of your flyer. Okay. Look on the back of the flyer. Flip it over. Look right there. What are you called today? This is how you identify who you are. Which tribe would you be from? Judah. You would be from the tribe of Judah. That's, That's who you are. You are not black. You are not African American. Right. The black people, the so-called black people here in America today, they descend from the nation of Israel. Right. What we have to realize is that we are still in captivity. Give me that in Baruch. We are still in captivity. We have yet to learn who we are in order to better ourselves according to the commandments of God. Right. And because we have not learned these things, we reside under the hand of our oppressor. Verse 8, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. You hear that, Shakur? The Bible says we are yet this very day in our captivity. We're still slaves, you know why? Because you might have said that we're the original Jews, right? You kind of asked it like a question. Mm -hmm. But you have to be confident in knowing that we are the Jews. Right. Because we are yet this day still in captivity. Right. Look at what's going on down here. We got our people mingled in amongst all people breaking God's commandments. They don't know that they're breaking God's commandments. Right. But because we have learned the uh, uh, the traditions and the, the goings of our oppressor, we have not questioned, is this right according to God or is this wrong? Right. We have not questioned the things that we've learned in captivity, in slavery. All we did was assimilate. That's right. We have assimilated in what is the breaking of God's commandments. God said what? Read it again. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are still slaves yet this day. Right. Why? Because we have to go to work. How is it that the people who are the real Jews have fallen so low, Shakur? How have we fallen so low? What caused us to be this low on the earth? That's a great question. Why did we fall? Huh? So why did we fall? Let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. We're going to show you why we fell. Do 
Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Yeah. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You got to remember, if we're the Jews, right? If we're the Jews, which we are the Jews, right. the Jews are who to God? The original people. His chosen, chosen people. Chosen. His chosen people. So you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are God's chosen people. Yes. Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. He says, we are a holy people unto him. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He said, I chose you to be a special people, a set-apart people unto himself. Come on. Right. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So regardless of how society has beat the black man down, God says he chose you to be above all people. That's right. The black man, the Hispanic man, the Native American man, created by God, by the hand of God himself, were created to be a special people unto God. Rulers of the earth. Right. So how did we fall? Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28. In verse 15. Bring it out. You are special people, so-called black man, so-called Hispanic and Native Indian. You are the children of God. Right. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. Because God chose us, he said, this shall come to pass. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I chose you. But if you do not hearken unto what I'm telling you to do, read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day come on. that all these curses all these what? curses come on. shall come upon thee and overtake thee so God told his chosen people who are the Jews Shakur, because I chose you if you don't do what I say all these curses are going to come upon you how did we fall? how did we fall is the question how did we fall? God said all these curses are going to come upon you if you, as my chosen people, don't listen. Verse 32. Verse 32. Bring it out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What's that called? When your sons and daughters are given to another people. What is that called? I'm going to help you out. Look on the front of your flyer. Bring it up. What is that called? It's a slave trade. It's called what? It's, it's called slavery. Read it again. Right. Right. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now let's let, let's analyze this. Has this happened to any other people on the face of the earth ever? Has this happened to anybody on the face of the earth ever? Nobody else. Nobody else's sons and daughters were given to another people. Right. Only blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's recorded in the Bible that it would happen. Why? Because you're God's chosen people. That's right. He only put his chosen people in slavery. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fare with longing for them all the day long. God says you're going to see your children being taken away from you, and you can't do nothing about it all the day long. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You will have no power to get your children back. Read on. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor. Jump to verse 45. Verse 45. 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. You hear that, Shakur? It says all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. He said that these curses are going to come upon the people I chose, overtake you and pursue you until you are destroyed. Right. How do you know that we're destroyed today, Shakur? How do we know that we're destroyed? Yeah. Okay, give me an example. We don't know. A lot of us don't know who we are. Right. Look behind you. Because we are now assimilated in an agreement to breaking God's commandments. Right. We have no idea. Our people got no idea that they're breaking God's commandments. Bring they got no idea that there is a punishment. There's a judgment for breaking God's commandments. Right. Yes. This is how we know we're It says, until you're destroyed. Watch this. Read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we fail because we hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy, our God. Read. To keep his commandment because we didn't keep the commandments brother Shakur that's how we fell we fell because we did not keep God's commandments right so what is a commandment give me the Sabbath day give me Exodus 20 and verse 8 what is a commandment that we could keep according to the Bible that shows that we are we are we are one becoming one mind with God 
Here is one that you can keep. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day. God says, Shakur, remember the Sabbath day. Hey, brother, right here. Come over here. Let me holler at you, man. Brother, right here. Come on. Yeah, I see you got the flyer. Let me holler at you for a second. It says, remember the Sabbath. Keep the Sabbath day holy. What's today, Shakur? Saturday. Saturday. What's the day according to God? The Sabbath day. Now, when you look behind you, are they keeping the Sabbath day holy? Nah. So that means, guess what? We shouldn't be participating in that right there. Not God. Remember, how, why did we fall? Because God chose us. We're God's chosen people, right? Right. If we're God's chosen people, God said what? Read this again. Remember the Sabbath day. He told his chosen people to remember the Sabbath day. Come on. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. How do we keep it holy? Read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. God says, six days you got to labor and do all your work. You can labor and do all of your work in six days. Come on. But the seventh day. But the seventh day, which is Saturday, which is the Sabbath day. Come on. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. This is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. He said, keep the Sabbath day holy. Read. Right. In it thou shalt not do any work, uh -huh. thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. So on the seventh day, the Lord entered into his rest. Now that's a whole other level of understanding right there. Bring it out. On the seventh day, on the Sabbath day, the Lord entered into his rest. That is what we should be doing. On the Sabbath day, we should have already labored. We should have already labored for six days. All right? But because we have not learned who we are and how to apply God's commandments, we have we are not, we are breaking God's commandments. Right. Therefore, you got all manner of sin going on behind you. Don't right. go participate in this, Shakur. Don't go participate in it. Why? Because there is a judgment for everything that is going on on this earth right now. You may look at the controversy going on in Israel and you may think that it has nothing to do with America. Well, lo and behold, it has everything to do with America and everything to do with them that choose to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. But this is the preparation of our salvation. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is